Pwede bang makisuyo sa inyo? Kung alam niyo ba sa vocabulary yun yung pusang disiplina? Meron ba kayo nun sa vocabulary yun? If not, then I would like to remind you as your uh, temporary father of the city. What I'm asking and begging from you is kusang disiplina. Yesterday, I fired 17 policemen because of you. Throw them out of the city. Because if they cannot govern in their respective AOR, I cannot just go there and throw your things inside your house, inside your establishment. I hate doing that. Huwag yun naman akong gawin masama. That's not me. But how can I, how can I look for words, look for any words that I can use, any words that I can use to instill in your mind that there is government already, that there is order. Wala na akong mapili na salita. Diplomasya, pamamaraan, kuya, pagod, pawis. Now, if my policemen cannot do their job, then they have no business to be in the city of Manila. They can go somewhere else. Now, going back to you. Bakit ninyo nilalabas ang mga paninda ninyo sa bangketa? What's the reason? Tell me. Please explain it to me. Let, let me, baka hindi ko kayo naiintindihan eh. Let me understand you. Let me, please, explain it. Bakit nyo nilalabas yung ginawa nyong karaoke nasa gitna ng bangketa? Bakit nyo nilabas yung speaker ninyo sa gitna ng bangketa? Why? Why would you, bakit nyo sinasako yung bangketa? You want me to help you keep it to your store? Don't make me, alam mo, Now I always pray to God to give me enough strength, emotional and psychological strength to understand you, all of you guys. But I cannot take it clear. Nakakaparada kayo. Pinagbabawal sa akin, ha? Para alam nyo lang, ha? Pinagbabawal sa akin, magbaba kayo ng damit. Sabi ko, no. Allow them. Because the city was designed in the old days. There was no parking space for them. Allow them to unload their uh, products. Don't clump it. Hindi nyo mahiningi sa akin yun. Pero bilang... Pamalaan, eh, alam mo yung, hindi yung usapang laway, yung mas, mag, mas, mas marami yung press release kaysa sa action. Ay, ano, sabi ko, no. I know it's mabuhay din. But you allow them to unload and load. Don't make them wait, uh, park there for three hours, for, no, don't, no parking. But you allow them to load and unload because walang disenyo sa raon ng building na pwede may pasok yung sasakyan para mag-unload. Kaya nga usok-usok ang tilya dun eh. Kasi yung iba nakaparada sa building doon na nagbubudega, ibinababa. I know your business. I, I know Manila. Sort of say. Yeah, maybe not 100%. But I know. That's why I know how to address it. Even though I'm, my attention is being called just to protect you. Protect your business. Alam lang, alam niyo pumanatag kayo. Now, bakit naman, inalis ko yung nasa kalsada, kayo naman ang pumali. Why? Tell me. Please make me understand you. Anybody? No right answer, no correct answer, no wrong answer. Just tell me. Baka, yes, please. Ito mikrofono. Please. Makisuyo lang. Let me, you're here. Ay, ayaw ko yung pahabain ng oras ninyo para makabalik na kayo sa paninda ninyo. I just want to be clear, clear, 
our uh, lungs. No? Yes, please. Well, sir, yung mga display po ay eh, kaya nilalagay po sa isa bangkit. Ha? Karaniwang po maliit yung tindahan. Tama. Yung po yung, siyempre, para makita ng mga customer po. Pero, pero naman, hindi naman lahat po sinasabi. Oh, sige. Gusto ko yan. Kailangan niyo po kami na hapon eh. Oh, gusto ko yan. Gusto ko yan, ha? Hindi lahat sinasabi. Nilalabas namin sa bangketa kasi malit ang tindahan namin. Then, sige lang, okay lang. Uh, para at least alam na. Tanong, yung bangketa sa inyo hindi? Why you sit? Now, you tell me again. Yung bangketa ba sa inyo? Hindi po. Para kanino yung bangketa? Daan ko na tayo. Salamat na mat na unawa mo. Ngayon, will you continue to utilize it? Hindi po. Salamat naman. O oh, next, ano pa yung isang sinabi mo? O oh, yung bangkita, o oh, yung maliliit ang stores. Opo. Talagang ganun eh. Mahal lang po pa sa rawang eh. Kaya nga kahit maliit lang. O oh, kahit maliit lang. O oh, sige, ganito naman ang gagawin kong katwiran. Pagagamit ko sa vendor, yung tapat ng tindahan mo, papaya ka. Hindi po. O oh, eh, ba't mo gagamitin? Sige. Hindi mo, di ba? Ginamit mo para magtinda ka. Ipagamit e ko ngayon sa ibang tao. Ayaw mo. Kaya sabi ko, the sauce for the gander is the sauce for the goose. You should be happy. Nakadadaan ng tao. Mas maraming po traffic. Mas marami possible na kliente. At alam ko naman, may sugi kayo. Yung pwesto sa raon, pwesto lang yun. Tama mali. Di ba darating na lang sila rito, tumawag na sa telepono, Uy, order ako, sa kabanatuan ako. Tama mali? O naman. Pare-parehas natin alam ang negosyo natin. Yun yung point ko. Kasi alam mo bakit? Diyan kayo masasubject sa potong. You are the one exposing yourself. You want me to govern? You want me to clear corruption? kayo ang nagtutulak sa mga tao ng pamahalaan na bigyan kayo ng porbetyo, bigyan kayo ng prebelehiyo, at ang kapalit nun, PPR ka. Yung PR, dati PR lang, magiging regular. Tapos pag may nagbagong district director, nagbago mayor, nagbago engineering, tataas, may hulihan, papataas ng presyo. Lagay ka na naman. Bago na naman, papalit na naman ng gobyerno, magpapalit na naman ng polis, papatong na naman. Before you know it, yung PR mo dati, regular na para kay Eddie at kay Patty. Then you're gonna complain. Alam niya itong gobyerno ito. Puro kurap. Pero nakalimutan natin magsalamin. You want to continue your business in Raon? Are you sure? Peacefully? Yes. Fairly? Yes. You want? I want to. Alam niyo bakit? Ilang Karetela Boys, Bodeguero, uh, Tindera, ang mawawala ng trabaho. But, meron tinatawag sa pag-gobyerno, yung tinatawag na balancing act. Di ba limawalan yung iba? Basta maroon magkaroon ng kapakinabangan yung higit na nakakarami. Pag yun ang kiros ko, kawawa kayo. Pag yun, doon ako napunta, I'll protect the interest of the general public than the interest of few. Which is, ganun naman talaga ang pag-gobyerno. Naninibago lang kayo na may gobyerno na talaga ngayon. Pero one way or another, sa totoo lang, if you're gonna help me, it would be better for your children. The next generation. At ang susunod na magtitindaran, marunong na magtagalog. Yes, because we welcome you in open arms. Ano na rin yun? Hindi tayo pwede magpaulit-ulit eh. Dapat lagi isang usap eh. Everybody needs his attention. Kaya, magliwanag na tayo ha. Maliwanag na tayo. Hindi kayo magalala na. I think, uh, tingnan natin ito si Balaga. 
Tingnan natin kung magiging uh, fair siya. Yeah. Dahil ako, yeah, the entire round cost 17 policemen. 17 policemen will be out of Manila because of fraud. See? Siya yung seryoso. Seryoso po yan. Ngayon, pag hindi sila nag-perform, you know, I keep sending them somewhere else until I find policemen who knows how to govern respectfully, fairly, and just. Diba? Sabihin, walang alam mo yung tapao? Ayo. Mga malawak. Ang pagtingin dapat. Pantay-pantay. Okay? Pag sa'yo lang ha. So anyway, uh, uh, we'll give uh, financial assistance to our constituents. Uh, the next building. But thank you. I hope you don't mind me talking to you directly. Basta, you have, you're always welcome here. I would assume uh, uh, maliwanag na tayo sa isa't isa. Ang presumption ko bago tayo maliwaiwalay, tutulungan nyo ako. Yan ang presumption ko. Ha? Then I'll do my best to govern fairly and squarely.